as you can see, it's been raining and it still is raining. Uh, pretty persistent, been pretty miserable. Uh, so I'm coming out of my daily exercise and uh, I want to go on a long walk today, maybe to Newport and back, you never, never know. Um, and I thought I might just go along by the side of the road on the footpath. I mean, that, that's that's a, a route I, I've never done before, just all the way. I, I have walked and run from Newport to Ride on a number of occasions, but never just by the side of the road. Uh, but so I think a lot of the off-road stuff is going to be very, very muddy. Um, and so what I thought I'd do is just see uh, if I can do some wet weather photography, uh, maybe see here the, <laughs> the drains are struggling to cope with the uh, amount of water that's fallen. So a bit of wet weather photography and maybe trying to capture some reflections of things in puddles. Uh, maybe some splashes as the cars go past, that kind of thing. So uh, that's my aim. So uh, right, let's look for the first photo of the grey, that looks like it might be a bit of a photo there, a bit of a reflection of those plants in the water, might try that one. I've come away from the main road. Uh, I think I'm going to walk by Core Abbey. Um, the sun's come out, so um, you know, makes a bit of a difference. Um, I'm going to take a few shots as I wander from the road down to the path that leads by Core Abbey. Well, uh, you can see a, <laughs> a rainbow there. Uh, I'm just on the golf course uh, on my way between the uh, uh, <laughs> uh, between the road and the uh, the path that kind of goes. It's called Ladies Walk, maybe uh, that goes down uh, towards Core Abbey, and uh, we seem to have a water feature here. <laughs> not uh, not one that's normally here. And of course, there's no golf because of lockdown at the moment, but uh, yeah, very wet. Um, but it, it's turning into a very nice afternoon. Right, uh, maybe a few pictures of this. It's quite pleasant. So I'm walking now by the side of the golf course, as I said I've come away from the main road. This will take me um, well, it'll take me down and then up in towards Binstead Church and then uh, and then on to um, on to Core Abbey and then uh, I guess I'll walk by the White Link Ferry up into a button and then I'll have to decide really whether I want to plough onto Newport or turn back towards ride. So, uh, yeah, well, await that decision.
these are great, these reflections in the, uh, in the puddles. Uh, trees, uh, posts, and uh, yeah, really good. Uh, quite tricky to capture because when you, when you get close to them, of course, the, as soon as the angle changes, the, uh, the reflection you get changes, but it's, uh, it's good fun trying to pick out the most interesting kind of one. All right, let's uh, continue. So, I uh, made it to Core Abbey. Uh, the community of Benedictine monks welcomes you to a place of peace and prayer. All visitors are welcome to attend the service in the Abbey Church, or simply come in and share the silence. Uh, I guess they've been in lockdown uh, for however long they've been in. Right, uh, there you are, Core Abbey, the new version of Core Abbey, as opposed to the medieval one, uh, which is in ruins. Okay, that's a nice, nice bench. Let's see if any of the any of the animals seem to have been. <laughs> I don't know what's happened to them. Uh, maybe they've been cold, but uh, they're conspicuous by their absence. Some nice benches here. here on a little footpath and uh, once more <laughs> uh, this is not normally here a kind of overflow just shows you how much rain has fallen all right so I'm I'm heading towards Kite Hill and uh, kind of following this new stream that's popped up uh, <laughs> and I guess it's kind of flowing along the lane. Oh. I'll pop back out onto the main road and I'm going to turn right past the Fishbourne Parish Council notice board which is here. Uh, those notices look reasonably well old. Oh and they were, they're hiring for the census in 2021 so maybe back up to date. Uh, Got the uh, letterbox and uh, the waste bin and the dog waste bin, and now I'm going to head towards Wooden Bridge. Right, so I've made it to uh, Wooden Bridge. You see the uh, the mill pond here. Uh, there used to be a, I think a I think this was a tidal mill, which is now the sloop. And uh, you can see down Wooden Creek there. This is the main road between Ride and Newport. And uh, as you can see, the uh, bit of a gray afternoon, but uh, the sun occasionally breaking through. A very wet morning. And uh, there you are. It's a bit of blue sky. So as you can see, the weather's turned a little bit um, grey and dark. It's begun to spot on with rain again, it's got quite cold. So um, I'm going to put the camera away for a bit and head back to ride. Uh, So what I ended up, <laughs> I made it back to ride and the sky's turned quite a nice colour, sort of reddy, pinky, 
uh, orange. So I'm heading onto the pier, see if I can get a few shots of the evening. I've just been down by the, um, uh, just on the front, taking a few snaps when it was a bit yellow, the sky, but it really has turned quite a dramatic color now. As I said, I've just got my phone. Can I get a few nice shots? Well, I'll do my best. Look, it is quite dramatic. What a good end to the day. What a nice walk to Wotton and back. It and didn't make it to Newport, but hey, <laughs> rewarded with this at the end. It's always good being outside, I think. Right, let's try a few pictures. To see some of the reflection of the uh, the ready light on the water so uh, very nice kind of it's like a, a nature show here just for a, I don't know 20 minutes or so at the end of the day what a nice reward right I'll try and take a few more as the waves keep crashing in the tides making its way out so I will say Thank you for joining me this afternoon on my walk to Wooden and Back and I will see you on the next one.